Hello friends, this video on light, shadows and reflection part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about the different types of light, when we talk about the different sources of light, it becomes very important to know that not all objects can produce light. So based on whether an object can produce light or not, objects are classified into two categories luminous and illuminated objects. So basically these are the two types or two categories of objects which we see, which we are able to see. So it is something like we see the chairs, tables, bottles, pen, paper, sky, water, trees, everything around us. So we assume that we are able to see everything that exists on this earth. But actually that is not the case. We are only able to see either the luminous objects or the illuminated objects. So what are these luminous and illuminated objects? So luminous objects are those objects which produce their own light. So they have their own light. They have the ability to produce their own light. So can you think of an example of a luminous object? The first example that should strike your mind is the sun. Sun has its own light. So sun is a luminous object. So any object which is producing its own light, definitely we are able to see that object. On the other hand, a lot of objects, they are not capable of producing their own light, but we are still able to see them. So you might be thinking that when they are not able to produce their light, so if there is no light, how are we able to see them? That, that, that's the question that must be uh, bothering you. So what happens is, these are not capable of producing light, but they are capable of reflecting light to our eyes, which are coming from the luminous objects. Now this part is very, very important. So there is a catch here. So these objects, they will not produce their own light. But the light which is coming from the luminous objects and falling on these objects, they, these objects will reflect that light to our eyes. And that is how we are able to see these objects. So this will become clear with this picture. So here you can see the sun. So sun is capable of producing its own light. So sun is a luminous object, right? Now, sun's light falls on various objects on the earth. For example, the sun's light will fall on this house. It will fall on the tree. It will fall on the grass. So everywhere the sun's light is falling. Now, the house does not produce its own light. The tree does not produce its own light. The grass doesn't produce its own light. But all of them are capable of reflecting the light that is falling on them from the sun to our eyes. So when we look at this house, the light which is reflected from the house comes to reaches our eyes and that is how we are able to see this house. So that means these are illuminated objects but they are capable of reflecting light that is coming from some other source that is coming from a luminous object. So that is why we are able to see these objects. So such objects are known as illuminated objects that is they cannot produce their own light but they are still visible because they can reflect the light which is coming from a luminous object. So they are reflecting the light which is coming from the sun. Since they are reflecting that light, reflecting the light means when light falls on them, the light rays bounce back and they bounce back and reach our eye. And that's how we are able to see them. So basically whatever we see around us, all those objects are either luminous in nature or illuminated in nature. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.